morning world. Sasha and I are finally gonna get to go to mother care <laughs> to do this baby shop that we've been talking about for the last few days and always missing the opening times. My mum's with me in the back and we are also going to do some errands for my mum. So all systems go and then packing for Portugal for tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day we go for the first time. So quite excited about it. Normally I'm not excited about going traveling. I don't really like the initial stage, but this time I am. I think it's because it's a big move for us and we wanna get moving. So yes, exciting. Just waiting for Sasha and then we're heading off. Right, we've just stopped quickly on the first of Irma's errands, which is a doctor visit to drop in a prescription. <laughs> and then we'll be on to the next place. It's not very warm out today, but there are guys rolling around with their roofs down. <laughs> right, second errand of the day. Mum's running off to drop off some stuff at my auntie's house. She's having some building work done, so there's a load of Portuguese builders at the house at the moment. This is the first time we've driven down this road and it is so tight I've had to pull the mirrors in. I'm worried that somebody's going to smash them off. Good thing we've got these automatically folding mirrors. <laughs> Another reason why we're quite happy to be heading off to Portugal tomorrow is there's quite a lot of stuff going on in the media right now about people's attitude towards the whole Brexit thing. There's a lot of people out there, British people, that aren't happy with Europeans working here now that they've voted to leave the EU and a little bit of tension in certain parts of England and Wales. So it's not nice to wake up to, to see stuff like that. It makes you feel a bit uncomfortable. And hopefully we will be moving towards something a little bit less intense and nicer over in Portugal. So we'll see, but looking forward to that. She wasn't there. She's not there? No. Um, you drop off the stuff anyway? Yeah, no, the workman is there. She can trust them. Okay. Um, and he's not going to do it as big as she wanted. Okay, we are at Mother Care, finally, and it is open, although this is a different branch from the one that we tried to go to the other day. We don't really know what we're looking for, we just want to look for prices of items and look around and see what we might need, uh, things that we might not even think about and be like, oh, that looks like something we might need to buy, I don't know. So we're just having a look and see if we can prepare a bit, so we'll see. Right, come on Bump, this is for you now. Let's go and see what you might need. This is a massive store. They've even got a coffee shop. You might need that. Yeah. <laughs> what? £755? Bloody hell. What about a baby sack? Oh, I want something like this. It's a bit better, isn't it, Sash? Yeah. I call this a baby sack. Yeah, nice colour. So he's trying on the baby sack. <laughs> this thing's quite small in there, isn't it? Yeah. This is for 9 to 18 months though. Looks good. Yeah, it's quite comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> right, first fail, we actually had it on the wrong way around. It got only allowed to go on your back, yeah, this one. I was, I was confused by this picture. Yeah, this right woman above. is... She's not doing it correctly. <laughs> I know I want one of these baby slings. Five in one baby sling. Sasha is pretty keen on this colour here. Either this colour or this grey. <laughs> yeah. How much is this one? Eight hundred. Eight fifty. This is something I was learning about the other day. This eye size car seat system. Gonna find out how it fits into the car. We wanna make use of the ISO fix points in the car and these ones click straight into them. So it'd be silly not to get one of these, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. This is a newborn attachment. So when they get bigger, you take it out. Oh, okay. And then it just uses the seat normally. I have to admit, the pram and car seat section is quite overwhelming. Mm. It's very difficult to know what on earth you need. There's so many different regulations and stuff you need to abide by but we'll work it out mum's got a smoothie today it's very thailand isn't it have a smoothie yeah the fruit shakes there are amazing got a nice looking 
flat white for Sasha, decaf, and I got a Cortado coffee. It's easier to find Cortados in England. And a goat's yeah. cheese panini, yeah, okay. toasted tea cake, and everything was £13, I think. Dead okay? Yeah. My vintage phone. <laughs> <laughs> Matches your top. <laughs> We've left Mother Care now, it's quite an educational experience. <laughs> Managed to find out quite a lot of costs. I'm quite pleased that we did that though. Finally got in there. Quite overwhelming. Have you learnt some stuff? Yeah. I learnt my mother can makes me cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sasha had some emotional moments in there. Um, dry treat biscuits, okay. So dry treat biscuits. Dry biscuits and a dentist Come on, let's take you out. We're going to put Eden's super harness on. It's even got like a little bone on the chest there. Let's see, Bone chest? Super Eden. Take her for a walk up in the forest, I think. Yeah. My well, dad's decided to come with me, so we're changing the route to make it a bit easier. We're going to go the alleyway route and not up in the forest. Eden, come on. One of the first things I'm going to need to do when I get back to the house is order some euros for tomorrow. Annoyingly, I should have ordered my euros before the Brexit because the pound was stronger then. <laughs> now it's gone down. I don't think it's gone down by much though. I don't think I'll lose out on too much money, maybe about 10 euros or so. So that has to be done. Not quite sure how much spending money I'll need either. Find out what the cost of traveling around in Portugal is gonna be tomorrow. The walking stick has been dumped. It was causing more aggro. I'll be carrying that home. Eden's being a good girl, she's not pulling too much. I think she understands when the pressure needs to be off. Like for example, if we give the lead to a child, Eden knows and she doesn't pull. But with me, she'll make me run, that kind of stuff. So she's still got some intelligence there. I let Eden outside to sunbathe, but she doesn't seem to be too interested. She's got her ears up. You just want to come back in, don't you? So cute. Why don't you want to spend time with your granddad? Hmm? You just want to come in all the time and sleep. What did you cook? This is my version of uh, cauliflower cheese, but I've got cauliflower, broccoli, um, cabbage, raw cabbage, carrot, and what else? And cauliflower stocks. What kind of cheese? Cheddar cheese. Nice cheddar. Mature cheddar. Mm. And this and is I... some homemade <laughs> garlic bread. First time. First time homemade garlic, Sasha. So ah, you've done it. Yeah. It smells it. good. <laughs> that was the remainder of the um, <laughs> oh, yes, And this little sweetie yeah. has been sitting there looking at the oven all on her own. <laughs> She's staring at the oven. Oh. You don't want cauliflower cheese. I might. You, you just had know. meat. You just had meat. You don't know. Yeah, I don't well, I'm afraid the toast is only toasted on the other one side. Yeah? That's right. All right, the dinner has been served. We're going to sit down in the sofa um, room today. Yeah. Well, Eden, are you going to join us? No, I'm off. Oh. <laughs> Let's turn on the smart TV. Is that it? Yes. All right, what's on YouTube? My brother makes sure that my dad has all the latest technology, so much so that they normally have better technology than we do for many years. <laughs> like my dad's phone was better than mine for about five years. All right, let's see what's on. How's the food? Good. Eden's looking at you intently. Look at her little face. <laughs> Eden. <laughs> Eden is watching me very patiently. 
we just finished watching Johnny's latest vlogs. He's going to the Philippines, which I'm a bit jealous of, to be honest, because I really enjoyed my trip to the Philippines. So I hope he likes it. So we're heading off to Portugal tomorrow. He's heading off to the Philippines on Wednesday. Lots of interesting stuff is going to be happening on these two channels. And right now, Eden is going to get a lovely walk. Come on you, Eden. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Wheel spin. Whoa. We're going on an extended walk. We're going to take Eden up to the viewpoint and have a look at what the city looks like. You're being very slow again, Eden. Whee! <laughs> Flame! It's mine. The Portugal trip is almost fully organised. We got an email back from the landlady and she said we could stay. Just needs to get an email back from somebody else. We've booked our first hotel. Hopefully, we'll be impressed with Portugal when we first go there. Because we don't know exactly what to expect. But whatever the case may be, I'm gonna try and approach it with an open mind because that is where we're gonna live. Just need to get some euros. My brother is gonna organize a little lift to take us there tomorrow to the airport and then we'll be on our way to Porto. It does feel strange to think that this time tomorrow we'll be in a completely different country checking out a place to live that will eventually become our home. Years down the line, we'll think back to this day and say, do you remember when we were sitting on that bench in the forest in England, talking about the upcoming move, talking about the changes that are gonna happen in our life this year? So soon, it won't be long and we're very excited about how things are gonna change. It's the right time. And Portugal seems like the right place. Nothing can be certain, but sometimes uncertainty brings magic. And we hope to find some of that magic where we're gonna go. You're too fast. You're too fast, Eden. I'm a little bit afraid that you're not going to come back. You having fun? Good girl. It seems like a good place to end the vlog today. With smiles on our faces, enjoying Eden, enjoying England. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. No, I'm gonna miss Eden next week though. Yeah, yeah. So go running around. Next time we go to these places, <laughs> Eden will be in the blue car oh. and we'll be enjoying a whole new adventure. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed today. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did. And we will see you tomorrow on our way to Portugal. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Look, you go that way, go straight. Yeah, it's a crossroads.